Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We are doing another Just Fun tour, and we are touring the island of Tillanook today, and I'm excited to go and get it started. It is described as medieval cottage core, so I'm expecting a lot of flowers, mush items, nature, and then we will see what comes with the medieval part. Oh, that's cute. I like nice, simple landscaping. I like the waterfall, the moons. Super cute. I love the customs for the path. So much work goes into decorating the ground like this, and I absolutely appreciate it. I think it looks amazing. I see beaches over here. Oh, that's so cute. It's a whole bunch of flowers and teddy bears. Let's see if we can get over there through the gardens. I don't want to wreck the gardens. They're so pretty. This is cute. Simple beaches. And I would expect nothing more in a, a cottage core island, let alone medieval cottage core. So I love the beaches. Tons of customs. It just looks so pretty and so peaceful see if we can get through here. I want to do the lower half of the island and I think we'll work our way up. See if we can get behind here. Hopping back. I love the flowers. The natural landscaping is so pretty. Oh, they have Melba and Dobby. They have the cutest islanders. I like this little grouping of ponds here. So cute with the bridge and again the cute stone pathwork. I love cottage core. Really cute. Again, very simple beaches. Oh, starting to see some more panels and some jail bars. I like that. But really cute. Like I said, simple beaches. I appreciate that. All right, let's move into the island a little bit more. I don't know if we can... Sorry, guys. I don't know if we can get across here, if it's going to take us anywhere. No, it's kind of you're, you're at a dead end. So let's go ahead and hop our way back over here, and then we'll make our way around the front and continue to search and explore. All right, there's some more steps going up, but we're only here at resident services now. This is cute. This gives me that medieval feeling. I feel like there would be people playing all the instruments. I feel like there's a loot needed in here, but it looks perfect. It, it seems very medieval. I like this art on the beach section, lots of books. Houses. Very cute. Oh, this is cute. I like the little train tracks. And the little sitting area and the bears everywhere. Very cute. What did I miss over here? Oh, there's a post office and there's a little gnome running it. Look at the shocked look on his face. That's so cute. I like that. That's cute. All right, let's keep moving. Go across the bridge. Oh, what's going on down here? Oh, just the houses. We saw this. Let's keep going. That's so pretty. I love the way the crescent moon chairs are set up with the mush lamps. That is so pretty. And there's a path of mushrooms going through here. This is cute. Oh, it's leading down to the campsite. That's so cute. Setting up the mushrooms like that that leads you in a direction. I love that. Now I want to go make a path out of mushrooms on my island. I like this. This is cute. It's like a little lab science area. Where they're learning, I guess, about the native wildlife. Fishing off the dock. And again, just simple beaches. Really cute. 
Definitely cottagecore. There's nothing not cottagecore about this island. Very... Oh, I love rock gardens. Sorry, I was gonna say very, very natural. Lots of trees and flowers. The country fencing, really cute natural landscape. But I love rock gardens. I have such an appreciation for them. I will never make one. The time and effort is just crazy. So those who do, amazing. Okay, it looks like we have a little seamstress here. A little area where they're making the clothes. I love the custom for that dress. That's so cute. It's kind of similar to the one that Poppy's wearing. Continue across. What do we have? Oh, this one has moons and stars on the dress. Oh, is this like an apothecary? That's so cool. I love the music. The creepy music is amazing, but I love that yard. All right, let's make our way up. I see villager housing. Art and books and a picnic. This is like a work area over here. I love this. So time consuming, but so pretty to path your island out like this. To put the customs on top of the pass that you can get at resident services. So cute. I think it really lends to the cottage core feeling. I don't know why, but it just, I feel like you see this and you know it's cottage core. Oh, I can see gardens and farm over there, but we are headed in this direction. We're going to keep going through more villager housing. This is definitely residential. Ooh, cannons. I feel like we're, are we missing? something there's so much stuff down there well we can head back over because there's no way to get over here I feel like yeah there's a big building over there but I don't know how to get there we'll find our way there eventually we'll continue going this way I want to know what those cannons are okay so this is like a ca okay I bet you it's a castle down at the bottom, but you can actually walk through it and it connects like a bridge. That is clever and I have yet to see anything done like that, all customed out like that. That's amazing. I actually really like that. That's lovely. All right, path down. Takes you to the secret beach. There's some treasure, more cannons, a little bit of money. I'm really starting to get the renaissance feel or the medieval feeling now. I feel like I'm in a medieval town. Lots of statues, the way the buildings are set up. Look at that spiral staircase. That is the coolest custom. I love that. That's amazing. I don't know what else there is across here on the bridge. Let's keep looking though. This is like a medieval town right here. Lots of the houses. I love the style. Little shops. It does feel like a little... It is medieval cottage car. I think they nailed the theme. <gasps> More of that spiral staircase. I love that. Oh, you can look down. What's going on down there? <laughs> stuff in the back. We haven't even discovered half of anything. I love this. This is a lot of villager housing though. Sorry, Dobby. It's books. Okay, I want to... Were we here before? Yes, this is the little islands. I want to try and go around. I want to see the front of that castle. Let's try and make our way back through here. We still have a whole other... What is this? This is all residential too. Okay, so it's all like 
path down. Oh, and now I see the shops. And streets. Oh, that's too cute. Love the yards. A little sitting area over here with a view. I like this island. It's very, very, it's so pretty. And I definitely get the Renaissance or medieval theme, I should say. Look at the dresses. And they have Molly. We have Molly back on Funland. Okay. I want to see if we can get in front of where that castle is. What's over here? Oh, it's like a blacksmith. I love that. That's really, really cute. I like that. He's working by the fire. There's all the metal. Okay, we made it. Finally, we found our way around. <laughs> More spiral staircase, and I was right. It's like a big medieval mansion. I keep saying, yeah, medieval is the word they use. Medieval. Not Renaissance. I keep thinking Renaissance because of the dress Poppy's wearing. But it's medieval cottage core. And it works. That's so pretty. It's very windy. This is the little farm area we saw from up top. So now we're finishing off on the bottom. I will include the dream address in the description if you want to come and wander around yourself i would recommend it. it's really cute lots of fun i'm not even done exploring and there's just so many twists and turns and little secrets and areas and lots of interesting designs for sure and the way that they've laid it out it um it's giving me a lot of inspiration for things especially the way they made this castle into like a bridge that you can walk through that's so cool and something I haven't seen done before. So I love when that happens. I love when you get to see something that's completely new to you. And that definitely is. More farmland over here. Lots of stalls with stuff on it. Just a really neat island here on Tulanook. Okay, let's go back up a level to where we were, so back in to where the shops are, the residential area, the streets. I love that yard. It's just so bright. Lots of yards and houses. Oh, wow. Look at this yard with all of the crowns and the golden toilets and the golden seat and the art. That's, um, expensive. Really cool, though. Wow. I love how they've put together this part of the island that's like the medieval town. This is so cool. I love it. All right, now that we have figured out what most of everything is on the second level, we can go up again. But lots of stalls, little areas that people can work in. And this looks like one of the main houses and yards. Oh, a little artist area and a view of the lighthouse. Area to sit and relax, and you can kind of see... Oh, can you hop onto this? Oh, you can! You can, like, get into the actual panel house. That's so cool. That's neat. I like that. The island is so pretty, though. I can't get over how pretty it is. Main house. Okay. Howdy, traveler! Bit of a spooky clown situation going on there. I don't want to push her, but... Okay, there's an alien ship up here. It could happen. You move over and some bamboo and a waterfall. So pretty simple top tier of the island. Really pretty though. I love the second level because it does, it feels like you're in a medieval town and I love that. Then the first layer is so natural and pretty and trees and landscape. All in all, just an amazing 
island. I love the theme that they came up with. I like how they put it all together. I love how natural and beautiful it is. It's very calm and relaxing to be here. Um, I would definitely say come and check it out. I'm taking a lot from it. There's a lot of inspiration that I'm getting. I think it was really well done. Really pretty. Tons of amazing customs. Neat ideas. Definitely go and check it out. Like I said, the dream address will be in the description. But I'm going to go ahead and end my tour here. I'm going to hang out a bit longer. Check it out a little bit more. Do a once around again. Because there's still so much to see. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. It means everything to me. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, let's go ahead and end it now. But thank you guys again. And we will be back with more Animal Crossing videos.